Hi guys, Matt from footballboost.co.uk and today we'll be filming our second Mercurial Superfly Blackout video. However, this episode will be on the Launch Spark Brilliant Superfly 5, whereas the older 4th Gen model was used last time around, which you can check out by clicking the card on the top left of the screen now. Following these simple steps in this video will ensure you guys blacking out your own boots will not only do a good job, but also make sure you don't damage or ruin your favourite pairs. So although we've brought you a Superfly Blackout already, this new Superfly 5 edition is pretty exciting as we're actually dyeing the flying it material for the first time ever by using a fabric dye solution we recently found for this exact type of job. A lot of you guys watching our videos have asked whether you can black out the Nike collar, so coming up is where you can see what you think. As always, there's an important step-by-step -step process to make sure your blackout job comes out looking sharp and professional, so watch the whole vid to get the details spot on. Let's get straight into step one. Our Blackouts DIY kit was sent from Blackouts themselves, which you can find their product info in the description below, which came with three different bottles, an acid to take away the factory finish, a black dye to coat the boots, and finally a finish to seal the dye. Step one involves stripping away the factory finish with the acid to allow for the dye to soak fully into the upper. Just note that the boots must be incredibly clean or new if possible for a high quality coating. So we're using a cotton pad to apply the acid across the entire upper and as you can see the liquid actually takes away a layer of colour and dirt from the Nike skin ready for the first coat of dye to be applied. Once done leave to dry for 2-3 to three hours before continuing to step 2. Into step 2 and the boots are ready for their first layer of dye. We break it into separate parts as you need to repeat this step a few times. As seen within step 1, we're going to apply the dye across the entire upper, however using a brush this time around, and for a cool look we'll be blacking out just the pink blast medial side to start with and then attack the total crimson lateral side. It's definitely a good idea to have a clear start and end point and the Superfly Speed Rib Upper does a great job of showing which areas need to be painted and also allows the brush to be stroked easily and accurately. Now the entire medial side Nike skin upper has been treated with its first layer of dye, it's time to try the fabric dye solution upon the exposed pink blast flying areas at the lace region. As mentioned, we've also managed to find ourselves the products needed to black out the knitted material, which you can see on screen now in the white tube and bottle. One is a thick black dye called Bone Black, and the other is a milky liquid called Fabric Medium GAC900, which makes it absorb and set into the knit. What you need to do is find yourself a small bowl or lid and mix approximately a marble sized amount of the fabric dye with equal measures of the fabric medium and mix the scene on screen to create a more liquid dilation. Using the brush again, sparingly dab and brush the fabric dye onto the coloured knit and as you can see it starts off quite thick and like tar, however once dry it becomes soft from fully absorbing into the knit. Moving on to the total crimson side and just for fun we outlined Nike's Volk swoosh to see what the boots would look like in an academy pack theme and then painted over the top for the complete first layer of dye. The exact same procedure of fabric dye was done on the exposed total crimson fly knit and once done you need to leave the boots aside to dry without direct sunlight or heat for approximately 24 hours and make sure to wash off the brush or it becomes quite stiff from the dye itself. If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. But when you're not here, you're my dream. Vote in the poll car now to choose which design you like the best. The full blackout, the half black, half total crimson look, or the vault swoosh design. We're only dyeing one boot to show you the different look between the original and blackout edition, so keep watching for some on feet and comparison action later on. 
So still in step two, we're going to do exactly the same as before by dyeing one side and then the other before applying another coating of fabric dye onto the fly knit material. We've made this quick speed so you can see the whole process in one clip. Although our Superfly fires have a black sole plate, if you find some dye runs onto a different coloured outsole, then you can use the acid used as step one to remove it carefully with a cotton bud. One point is that you don't need to overly apply the dye during each coat. Carefully and sparingly is definitely the way to go. Into the last stage of step two, left overnight for the second coating of dye to fully sink into the upper and fly knit, the boots are now ready for their third and final application of dye. As with previous applications, coat all the areas you desire in an even and careful manner. You can even use different thickness of brush for certain areas. For example, I'd suggest a wide brush for the main upper and fly knit, whereas a thinner brush will be better suited to painting near the sole plate for a sharp finish. Now leave overnight for a final drying session. Yeah. Like the attention, girl, I know you. Know you. But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world We're the perfect team You're my dream and I just want it Progressing into step three, we're at the stage where the upper and knitted material have received three coats of black dye and fabric dye solution and also sufficient time to dry. So it's time to apply the final finish, which has a milk-like consistency. What the finish does is it seals the dye to ensure it remains black throughout use. However, as found on our previous Superfly 4 edition, which Blake has been wearing, that after a long season, some dye around the toe actually starts to fade away, but you can touch up when required by following the same process. Again, we're using a cotton pad to gently wipe all across the upper, apart from the dyed knit, making sure every spot is coated. And once completed, they're ready to dry overnight and then you can show your mates one of the classiest looking boots out there. So guys, that's how to black out your Nike Mercurial Superfly 5s. And here's a final on feet look for you. Any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below and flick us a like if you enjoyed the video. Cheers. I'm a bunny, I'm your clock From now to eternity, I give you all